There we go. You always put on your coat like that? What's wrong with the way I put my coat on? I didn't see there's nothing wrong with it. I just wondered if that was your regular method. Not the regular method. I just put it on. Mm-hmm. It's what, effeminate? Hmm. What? Nothing. I'm just sitting here studying the ways of professors. Yeah, well, I've got to go. My name is Zachary Allen Farmer. My name is Robert A. Mitchell. I'm playing white. I don't believe in angels. I mean, fuck. <laughs> and I play black in the show. I don't know why. Well, Eve hit the apple and everybody just... It's all right. <laughs> who uh, is a college professor who has decided to kill himself for his own personal reasons. Black was in jail for murder. You really believe everything that's in there, the Bible? What, literal truth? Yes. <laughs> Probably not, but you already know I'm an outlaw. And so he's on a one-man crusade to have for everyone to change the way they look at things. To White, the play would really be about the, more the discussion of not necessarily if God exists, but why God doesn't exist. Okay, uh, according to Black, I think the play is about, oh, well, the fact that uh, people are good. What is it you would disagree with? Uh, well, maybe the notion of original sin, where Eve ate the apple and turned everybody bad. See, I don't see people like that. I think for the most part, people is good to start with. Evil is just something that you bring on to yourself, mostly from wanting what you ain't supposed to have. Bugs me about black? <sighs> um... What bugs me about white or what bugs me about Zack? I think what he finds most annoying about Black is that Black is a very intelligent guy, but that Black has an opposing viewpoint. Uh, White doesn't listen. I think the way White sees it is that everybody who is intelligent should have the exact same beliefs as he does. Black is definitely the good guy from my point of view. On the basis of the story, Black would be the good guy because he saves White, but throughout the course of the play that gets so muddied that I think you kind of lose sight of there being a good guy or a bad guy. So what are we saying here? You looking at some big black angel got sent down here to grab your honky ass out of the air at the last possible minute and save you from destruction? In the actual story, I think you just have two people who both believe that they're the good guy and not necessarily thinking that the other person is the bad guy, but that the other person's viewpoint is the incorrect one. I think what keeps uh, White in the room is the realization that Black is a smart enough guy that he might have an answer or two after all these years and after all his experiences. Look, suppose I were to just, I were to give me a word that I would just go home and that I wouldn't try to kill myself en route. Suppose I was to tell you that I wasn't gonna listen to none of your bullshit. So what am I, a prisoner here? The most difficult part of the process would definitely be the, uh, the memorization of the lines. There are a lot of uh, tiny little lines that repeat themselves all over the play. You don't think you have to believe, uh, shit. The lines. There are so many lines. Well, let me give him a coat. No, that's wrong. You live in an apartment. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. And remembering which version of that one little line that repeats itself 30 or 40 times in the show is kind of key because if you say it the wrong way, you might jump a few pages ahead or something and that could be disastrous. And he hit the apple and everybody. And turned everybody. And it turned everybody back. Okay. Like that. What's wrong with the way I put my coat? Fuck! <laughs> Whew. A lot of lines to remember. You, you can't go home with me. Why not? <laughs> Fuck! It's provocative. It's a riveting piece of theater, even only as, even though it's only two actors on stage. It uh, it will make them think. It will make them want to immediately leave the theater and stand out in front of the building for about half an hour talking about what they just saw. Do people really have that intense conversations with each other? And then you start thinking, yeah, we do. And then leading into their own views as to what the play is really about, what actually happens at the end of the play, and things like that. Why are you doing this? Me? I ain't got no choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. No, I ain't. Who appointed you my guardian angel? Answer the question. You know who appointed me.
if anybody knows exactly what we're supposed to be eating in the scene where we're actually eating, please let me know because I have yet to figure out what that recipe could possibly be. Uh, there are there's molasses, bananas, mangoes, and rutabagas. Those are the only ingredients we get. Uh, so 